Alright dudes, oh, welcome back to Death Stranding, we are on episode 41, and it is, and this is the, probably one of the longest Death Stranding videos we'll have, because we have to apparently go back to Lake Not City, and if you don't know where we are, we are near the relay, which is pretty much across the map, so... This might be a long walking sim video, and I've only got 40 gigs left on my hard drive, which is going to be great. Oh well, Majesty. Hello, Majesty. Foundation. A bridge. Alright, so let's go. Episode 10, Die Hard Man. Die Hardman. <coughs> mm, sorry about that. And it begins now.
Sam, do you copy? I've been looking into Clifford Unger and wanted to share my thoughts. To recap, Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam.
Holy fuck. The... I say they. Oh, we've... We've... Built a road all... Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, cool. That was... Short-lived. Never mind. Back to what I was doing. Cool. We are so close. We're not... Oh. Hi. Uh, hello. You're not going to believe what I found. It's about the BP experiments, their true purpose. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand. Supposedly with the primary objective of developing BT detectors and preventing void outs. Any advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out, that's just a cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of not cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. It was probably Amelie herself who installed them as she moved west with the first expedition, carrying out her mother's grand plan, making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear, and did what she thought had to be done. Also, America could be whole again, but I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her her soul. The Chiral Network is our greatest creation, our proudest achievement, and our guiltiest sin. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I'll be in touch. Alright, I did not expect that to happen. At all. So. Cool. Thanks, game. And we are good to go. Uh. And it's all fish. Yeah. Huh. Nice one. Cool. It's getting like foggy. Or is this just, just because of like the wind or rain? I'm surprised I've kept the one, this one by. Yes, we are actually so close now. We are like uh, 2000. This bridge still hasn't been constructed. What the fuck? Okay, dudes. Nice. The fuck? Oh, there we go. I thought it was gonna be a long episode. I thought I'd just like lose my bike a million times, and I was like, oh, fucking walk. Six thousand fucking meters, whatever. Is it meters? Kilometers? Meters? Meters. I don't know why I say kilometers because I'm fucking stupid apparently. Alright. I might have to walk fucking 2,000 meters in a minute if I don't, if I don't fucking not put my bike. Oh boy. Can I just like... Yes, there we go. I'm 
damaged. Oops. We can go get another vehicle though, easily now. I, I, I don't want to say easily, but... It's more easy to get a vehicle, but not like, very easy. I still have to fucking fight some mules, which I don't have any weapons. Due to the Higgs battle. Well, I could have got some, but I just didn't. Apparently. Oh boy. No, we're good. Wait, what about. Oh. Ah, mules. I haven't seen these in ages. Wow. No, I saw them like 15 minutes ago, I guess. No, actually, no, I didn't actually see them. I saw like the blip. You know. Oh, okay. They fell off. I see you're coming up on Lake Knot. Stay strong. We're all rooting for you to finish the job and come home safe. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists conducting the BB experiments. But he did so completely unaware of their true intentions. This is pure speculation, but I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody, and after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. In which case, he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the president, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? But just because President Strand is dead, doesn't mean his hate died with her. No, I think he redirected it towards Bridges, towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the director. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding, to bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? He must know that she's an EE. There's no time to lose. You have to save her and the director. Though I still don't understand how he managed to travel to her beach in the first place. There must be more to their relationship. I'll see what I can find. Sam, it's about the director. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Well, I looked, and I couldn't see one. The network should have contained something, anything, but there was nothing whatsoever. His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. There's no telling who he was which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? If it's those two who have a personal history, 
Then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. But even if that were the case, it doesn't answer the bigger question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Sam, Hartman here. There's something else I'd like you to consider. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the chiral network, our individual beaches have begun to coalesce, resulting in the formation of a single massive seam. Should this process continue, there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world, bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. Now, Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach, one that exists on a higher plane that was responsible for setting this process in motion? And what if the beach in question were none other than Armelies? Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelies beach, to exploit its power over every other beach and trigger the last stranding. It's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions, which is why you have to stop him. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious trouble. Using the Cairo, that's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. Yeah, it all fits. With the last stranding, you've got to stop. You've got to make the jump. Get in and get her back.
Alright dudes, I'm going to end it off here. I know it's a weird place to end, but I'm going to end it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.